family happy monday to you welcome to mood mondays i'm your host the very wrinkled captain america <laughs> i hope you all having a great day so far you know what let me take another way i hope you all having a great monday so far i hope that you're in a good mood hope that you had a great weekend and i just wanted to say what's up talk about a couple things tell you about my weekend get on out your way so i just came off of a great weekend of course as y'all can imagine filled with music and more this uh past friday got to hang out at jojo's in dc oh man i forgot to uh I'll throw the pictures up later. I forgot to throw the pictures up into this live stream so that I can show you all my good friends that I got a chance to hang out with. And um, shout out to Aquia Allrich and got a chance to run into Chris Fun and some other great people. So, yeah, JoJo's, we were there Friday night. Myself, John Lampkin. Shout out to John Lampkin, amazing drummer. Corey Baker on bass, and Mia Simone, a wonderful vocalist from the Baltimore area, and we got a chance to have a really good conversation too. So I'm, you know, wanting to share more of my conversations with you all, because uh, I, I get the chance to have a lot of really fruitful conversations with great people. So my goal is to share those conversations as much as possible, gems giving everyone my science, getting to know people. Uh, it was the first time my, it was the first time I got a chance to play with Mia Simone and first time I got a chance to talk to her. So we had a really good conversation about how she got to where she is as a vocalist, you know, what her upbringing was like musically, what my upbringing was like and how the, the path and the road has been for me. Um, also, Got the great opportunity to talk to my good friend Tapora. Shout out to Tapora Bilazikian. And she is a wonderful musician, vocalist, lyricist, and songwriter, and just really creative pe person in general. And so last Monday, we got a chance to talk, and I want to share that with you guys today because we had a great conversation, and I think you'll really, really enjoy it. We talked about life and music chicken noodle soup <laughs> um, and we talked about uh, you know how to cope with things just as far as life you know just the realities of what we're all dealing with something that everybody can relate to and then we also uh, talked about her new uh, her new ideas and ventures and career moves that she's making that I want you all to support her on and so there's that so let me, I, I tell you what, since I started there, I'll go ahead and show you. Check this out right here. This is the podcast episode. If you go on and click the link in the description of this video after we finish, please go check out the conversation. Um, it's a really, really fruitful conversation. There's something for everybody in this conversation. We cover a lot of really good topics. And I just want to share you all, you know, with you all the humble moments. You know, the humble conversations, because that's where I find some of the greatest conversations, the greatest gems, the greatest moments of inspiration and encouragement. And I'm a very one on one person. So I love being able to talk to people, hear their story. I encourage them. They encourage me. You know, that kind of relating one on one is really important to me. So after this podcast is over, this live stream. Click on the link in the title of this video and listen to the podcast of our conversation. Really interested to know what you think. And what about the conversation resonated with you? As y'all can see, I'm, I'm in one of my, I would say at this point, this is probably one of my favorite places in my neighborhood here in Mount Washington, Pikesville, like, Look at this view. I'm going to give you a higher view. Hold on a second. Hold on one sec. Look at that view, y'all. 
I like it just because it's it's quiet. It's nature, you know. Can take in a little uh, a little good green, you know. <laughs> anyway, so just wanted to share that conversation with all. And also, I wanted to elaborate on something that I um, put on Facebook this past week. And it was talking about support. It was talking about people who support you and people who don't support you and being able to recognize the difference and appreciate those that do. So I put this on Facebook. It doesn't matter who doesn't support you. The only thing that matters is who does. So stop wrestling with it. Stop wrestling with it. Now, here's the cool part. Everybody has access to this uh, background because all this is is just a basic Facebook background that I chose from, you know, one of the options. But the cool thing is, and the reason why I chose it is, if you look at the picture closely, the background is a tiled floor, you know, kind of looks like all squares. And then you got the one up in the left hand corner where the little ball is, is popping out on top of it. And you can see that the square has lifted. And I was like, this is perfect. This couldn't be better to illustrate the point. And I, I wrote it on Facebook. I don't have the exact words. You all can look back at it. But I wrote it on Facebook and I said, you know, look at the, the ball in the upper left hand corner. With, with the position of where that ball is right now, it's being elevated by a particular square. It's being pushed. It's being flung in a in a upward direction to reach its highest height so to speak and i said you know pun intended it really doesn't care about all the other squares all the other squares y'all know who i'm talking about <laughs> maybe you're a square <laughs> now nah, but you know all the other squares that's on that background it doesn't really care that those squares did not support it it doesn't really care that those people couldn't see his vision, didn't know where it was going, couldn't understand like the vision that it was holding, not just for itself, not for, for oneself, but for the bigger picture of everybody. Sometimes people can't see that. Sometimes people can't see when your ideas or your thoughts is really about the bigger picture. And it might be because they're dealing with things where they're being really selfish and they're having a hard time admitting it. So they can't imagine for the life of them, that somebody else would not be selfish. That's just a, a reflection of something that they're dealing with. And that's why, as I was talking to my daughter about a couple weeks ago, not a couple weeks ago, a couple days ago, I was talking to her about the importance of being patient with each other. You know, I pride myself on patience. And I know that is one of my greatest gifts, so to speak. And the thing about it for me is, I guess I've always had a, a good, healthy dose of patience. But one of the reasons why I'm so patient with people is because everybody's dealing with something. Everybody is dealing with something where they need understanding. They need somebody to just let them vent, to take it easy, to not like to not hold things against them because we're all just trying to put one foot in front of the other. And life has its ups and downs, you know? And so I'm patient with others because I need somebody to be patient with me. I need somebody to allow me room to be human and to be all that that means, you know, to laugh at times, to cry at other times, to be able to be snappy and realize a minute later, an hour later, even a day later, like, it was something that I did that I regret and I can go back and make amends. But if you're not patient with other people, then how can you expect people to be patient with you? So anyway, back to the support thing, right? So a lot of times, you know, we spend a lot of time just wrestling with the fact that people who we want on our side are just not on our side. They're not understanding like the vision. They're not supporting us. They're not there to see us shine, you know. And the truth of the matter is, it really doesn't matter. Like, you could continue to focus your energy in that direction. But like I said in the post, 
unless you're in the business of like funding the operation of non-supporters, I mean, what's the point? What really is the point? You know, hello, good morning. <laughs> Seeing the good people, everybody. So yeah, it's like, what's the point? If you have people that's not gonna support you and people that don't understand you emotionally, people don't understand your time and how delicate it is, how precious like your thoughts and opinions are, best thing you could do is E, I mean either A, take it somewhere else where it is appreciated, or create your own thing. Like that's the thing, you know, it, it is a such thing as a corporate vision, but sometimes the corporate vision, people, sometimes people are not ready for the vision that you have. Some people, sometimes people are just not ready. I mean, there's, I mean, look, look at, look at Dr. Seuss, you know, look at um, Thomas Edison, look at people that got turned down a hundred times because people just wasn't ready for the idea. And now we can't live without the idea. That's your idea. You know, your idea, whether people know it or not, is something that's valuable. So what you have to do is you have to understand that these things are precious. Your time, your emotions, your thoughts, they're precious and they're valuable. And you have to give, if nobody else give those things respect and they don't get it, it's nobody else's fault but yours. Because you have the ability to show those priceless things respect by honoring them and by not looking to other people for validation um, that you know won't give you validation. You know, they've already shown it. Somebody told me a while ago, like, when people show you who they are, believe them. And that's so simple, but it makes so much sense though. Because a lot of times we'll overlook the way that people are or where they are. It might not be that that's where they'll always be, but at this point, that's just where they are. And so, as they say, beating a dead horse, it's not gonna make you get up and ride. Like after a while, you just look like the fool. To be absolutely honest, after a while, we look like the fool and we can't really blame anybody else. But the other side of it to me is, it just makes more sense to spend your time and spend your investments with people that actually support you. Even if it's fewer in number, it's more potent, it's more organic, it's real it's not fake it's real and it goes twice as far because if there's somebody that knows you and you know them they really feel you they know your heart and they're at least trying they're open then you know you could do a lot with that to be honest you could really do a lot with that because they're on your side or they allow for you to spread your wings like a butterfly and fly. And that's all you need. It's not about it's not about quantity, it's about quality. It's not about the quantity of the amount of people you have in your corner. And it's to be honest, and again, what happens is as human beings, when we get something in our mind, how we want things, sometimes it's really really hard prying ourselves away from those ideas. Sometimes it could be really, really hard. So, you know, you could have a person, and this is this is often, you know, all of us at some point in time, where something clearly isn't working, we clearly need to go in another direction, or we just need to put our stock and investment in the things that do make sense and are working out. And because we just, we want things a certain way, we just keep beating at a dead horse. Stop beating at a dead horse. Stop it. Stop it right now. Stop beating at that dead horse relationship. Stop beating at that dead horse job or trying to please that person who you think could do something for you if they just recognize who you are. Nah, that shows you don't know who you are, because if you know who you are, then all you got to do is go forward in the truth of who you are and you'll get the validation from those that you need to. But the, the difference would be why try to please somebody that's not really that concern anyway. Like we really do spend a lot of time trying to please people that we sometimes that we don't even like, really. And it it's and I get it from a perspective because again, 
and I don't know if I said this a few seconds ago, but it's something I always say. A lot of times we're we're okay, we're more okay dealing with familiar BS than than unfamiliar territory that could be better. Like, and that's because we're adapters. It's it's a part of who we are as human beings, it's a part of every species. It's what evolution is, it's how you survive. You have to adapt. Um, some things you have to just deal with because you can't change those situations or scenarios. So your body, your mind, it has to know how to adapt. But that also works to our detriment too. When we're in unproductive situations that we have this dream in our head of how it should be. And then we get locked in that more than the reality that we're actually facing. So stop wrestling with it. It's okay. You're much better off having a smaller quantity and higher quality than a higher quantity of low quality, whatever. It could be friends, it could be associates, it could be, it could be whatever. You apply it to where it makes sense in your life. So stop wrestling with it. It doesn't deserve what you're giving it, you know? And the, other, the last part about this is why it's so important. Because if you don't watch it, and all of us have been in this particular uh, position at one time or another, if you don't watch it after a while, you'll find that it's usurping your power. Like you'll find that you're giving power to it, even though you're convinced that you're not. One way to tell if a person is really over something is how much they talk about they're over it. I learned that a long time ago. If a person talks about they're over something or that they're not thinking about it, it shows that they're thinking about it. So, you know, just just change that equation. Stop looking for fruit in places where it is like this barren land and no and no fruit for soil, you know. So, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good. How are you? All right, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, guys, you know, one more time. It does not matter who doesn't support you. The only thing matters is who does. Stop wrestling with it. If there's one person that's on your side, then. That's one person that's in your corner that's truthfully about who you are and not who they want you to be. That's another thing. Because many people will more so try to mold you into who they want you to be. And it really has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the narrative that's in their head. They need things to be a certain way in order for things to be like how they want it to be. And most of the time, we're more concerned with being right than being love. So it, it, might, it might be absolutely crazy, and it is. That's why you can't get tied in that knot. So take the people who really support you and who love you, kiss them, hug them, cherish them, hold them tight, show them the same appreciation, show them that you value and you support them. And everybody who ain't in that equation, just let them be. Give them a chance to come around, try to see you, you know, what you're saying, what your vision is. If they can't, you are the one to blame. You, 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 me. I'm the one to blame. You're the one to blame. If we keep on and we're not productive, because when people tell you who they are, believe them. So check out the podcast, everybody. Please click the link. Listen to the conversation with myself and my friend Tapora. And um, I also drop the information. I'll, I got to go back to the to the uh, title and put it on there. I'll put on her Instagram info and everything. I want you to follow her. I want you to support her as a musician, as a creator, as an entrepreneur, because she's got a couple great businesses going on. And that's what I'm here to do. Promote other people. And let's all go to the top and support each other. I love y'all. Have a great rest of your Monday. Thanks for taking the time to hang with me. Talk to you all soon. Peace.